Good morning. This is the next morning. We're going to put our bread together so we can start rising. Uh, yesterday, remember, um, we put the psyllium husks in and the uh, flax meal. And now we're going to add, put that in there. And this is 350, 350 um filtered always use filtered because the chlorine will kill all the good yeast that's in um, that we are so been culturing in our for our sourdough so always use filtered water we have a Berkey filter so all our water is filtered that way we take the chlorine out now we're going to mix this up and this is going to become the a gel and this is what gives the structure to uh, the gluten bread, gluten free bread, and it will jellify or whatever you want to say, um, right quick. And oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, that's all thickened up now. And oh, I'm gonna pull in here into the middle. This is our sourdough starter mixed in with the brown rice flour and look at the bubbles the activity of this wonderful starter look mmm you can see that that is just I wish you could smell it I know I kept seeing that yesterday but we're just gonna stir it up here a little bit and get that all that bubbly yeasty sourdough mmm oh, this can't hardly wait for the bread. You have to make it most every day. At least three, four times a week I make it. And it's, boy, it never gets old. It's always so... Mm, I love the smell of stuff. Okay, so now we're going to stir it up. Remember, this is a no-knead artesian bread. And I'm going to bring in here. <clears throat> well, we're going to stir it up. And I'm going to pour in... The wet ingredients first. This is our sourdough mixture. The starter. Mm. And then see how that's gelled up? And that will plop that in. We'll plop it in. And scrape all that yumminess out. <clears throat> Then we're going to stir it. Now, I want to talk to you about this this um, this tool. A friend of mine recommended it, and I got it off of Amazon. And it is the best thing for bread. If for any heavy doughs, I, I want you to see the, the thickness of that handle. And this is the wire is very, I mean, it really takes the bulk. Um, it doesn't bend. It really, really does the job. And you'll see that here in a minute. But I want to get the the sourdough and the psyllium husks, black seed, kind of stir it all up in here. And look at that. Oh, my. Mm, mm, mm. I do love to cook and bake because of all the smells. Makes your house so smell so good. Except when I bake mine, it's outside. Because we're going to bake this on the, uh, I use my grill as my, my oven. There we, looks like we got that going pretty good. And I'm going to show you, and that's our twist on this. Now, because boy, that just, the crunchy bread just comes out with that. It's so good. Okay, well, that looks like it's pretty good. Now let's start pouring in a little bit at a time. We'll <clears throat> put half the flour in. And that's and that mixture is whatever gluten free, um, all purpose flour. That there's, there's so many now on the market and that didn't used to be. I used to have to to buy all the different grains and mix it all up. And now they're doing that. Uh, all these major companies, uh, Bob Bob's Red Mill. Uh, he has his one on one, which is really good. I use that with cookies and things. Then he has his all purpose. Now, and then the other one that I showed you was uh, uh, Gluten-Free Mama, uh, her bread, and, I'll, and I'll, I'll link to all of those. Um, here we go, I'll get the last part of the flour. There we go. 
different flowers. It just I've made this with several different kinds. Um, I prefer the um, the coconut flour blend, but there's also almond flour. A lot of people are allergic to uh, nut uh, tree nuts, and so the almond might bother them a little bit. But it doesn't. The coconut flour, coconut milk, all those things. Uh, we use almond milk. There's so many good milks out now. Even Walmart has their own, which is quite a bit cheaper uh, than silk. But okay, looking good. Now what happens now is I'm going to put a little flour down, our bench flour, and then with our hands we're just going to bring all this together. And we'll put it in our um, the bowl that we're going to bake in. Last night I put the I formed the parchment paper and I squirt water in the bottom because what it does is when it's rising it gives humidity uh, to the, the bread because I don't have a fancy proofer like the the bakers do they you know they have these big things that has a lot of steam and, and stuff that the bread can rise but that helps that helps a lot okay so what we're going to do is kind of bring the rest of this together with our hands and just there you go and we'll just work in and it is it's just like a, a cookie dough um, because even uh, with the gluten if you're using gluten breads the whole wheat flours and all that um, it's it's a it's a wet dough in that the less thing that you um, you, you actually you allow I don't know what's half hour an hour between for the sourdough to um, take effect. Uh, this is a one time shot. You just you only have to mess with this once. So here we go, and pretty much that's it. You gathered it all together. Now I do one more thing. Um, and I'm going to put some bench flour on. Yeah, I went and forgot. So I'm bringing back um, some so I can get some bench flour in here. Because I, I like to um, take it out of here and just kind of do this um, type. It's not a knead. It's more of a, which you can't really do inside of the, a bowl. And I just you have all this flour. And so what it does you make just kind of smooth it out you make it into a I think they call it a boule shape and um, there it is and I seem to be able to do that better um, if I can find uh, there it is my bench scraper I wouldn't do anything without my bench scraper um, it helps me get all the stuff together and lift it up and put it inside the bowl the parchment tapered bowl there we go and then with this I put my marks so it expands isn't that beautiful oh you're gonna see oh you've already seen because I've already put the, the picture of the loaf and all that so you can see how it's gonna come out but now we're gonna put on back on our um, little bonnet so it, it just stays moist in there and it will because I put that spray in there um, just gives it that humid environment for it to rise so I'm gonna put this now um, you can put it anywhere you want I stick mine in the oven just to get it out of the way and um, so because my kitchen is very big I have a small galley kitchen and this you know doesn't have um, the any cold breezes coming through and it really rises very well and you can also if it's not uh, very warm just uh, you can turn your oven on and just turn it back off and just give it a little but anyway we'll be back in uh, four or five hours and see how this has really risen see you then